Well, welcome to the Post Sunday app. We're glad you joined us today for this video. Uh, last Sunday was Sanctity of Life Sunday. Yeah. So it was a kind of a special Sunday. It the is, life of our yeah, church. very special. Um, and you preached on Psalm 127, God and the Children at Bethany Community Church. Yeah. Um, so we want to do a few clarifications on some things. Yeah. Um, uh, so one of the clarifications was you said a statement of God has shown great favor to the ch our church. Yeah. Great favor to, to families that have children. Can you clarify that meaning? Does that mean he does not show favor right. to others? I think I even worded it. And, and so it's a Sanctity of Life Sunday, but also uh, we emphasize the orphan care ministry. And so yeah. a lot of uh, focus on that. Yeah. And how, how God views children. A message to how God and the, and the children at uh, Bethany Community Church. So I think the way I said it is, uh, children are a sign of God's divine favor at okay. Bethany Community Church. And someone okay. said, well, does that mean that, you know, like you said, that God loves us more than another church, and so he's given us children and maybe not as many children in another church? And, and no. Okay. What, I, what I was trying to communicate there is that when we see a child in our church, it's, it's a sign that that, or that that child is God's blessing uh, to us, and that's how we should view children. Mm -hmm. You could also uh, make the same argument in terms of, of families. You know, maybe there's a, a single person who wants to be married and wants to be a, uh, in a relationship and wants to have children, and God hasn't given that to him or to her at the, okay. this time in their life. And they said, well, is that a sign of God's displeasure on my life? No. No, there's other means by which God is sanctifying you, causing you to live a life that glorifies him. A childless couple, is that a sign of God's disfavor? No, but whenever we encounter a child in a home, in a community of faith, we say, wow, God has blessed us with, with that child. And I think most people, even the person that asked me the question about that, understood I was saying that, but just wanted to hear me mm -hmm. say it, I think. So yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. say that. Yeah. Okay, good, good clarity there. Um, you said something else, and I'm not gonna be able to quote you exactly here, but the orphan, an orphan care ministry could potentially have, maybe that's not the right word, yeah. the greatest eternal impact right. more than any other ministry of a church or... Yeah, and, and so what I wanted to be very clear with there is I'm not saying that uh, the church exists for social ministries. The okay. church doesn't exist to f ultimately to even physically care for the needs of, of the orphan. We're called to do that, but we're mm -hmm. called to do that because there's an overarching purpose of the church, to glorify God as we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord prepare people to worship Him forever. And one of the ways we proclaim Christ is as we proclaim the gospel, we we meet the physical needs and the, the spiritual, the emotional needs of, of the orphan. And what I believe, as I look at that video that we showed on, on Sunday, yeah. I believe that there's perhaps no other ministry context in which we're doing that proclaiming and preparing that we're going to see fruits on into eternity. Uh, there's an amazing return on investment, I guess. Eternal investment in this ministry is what I'm saying. So it's it's an internal investment in the life of the child. You, know, you and I are both adoptive dads, and so you see, man, just God's blessing in bringing us a child. But also the, the biological children in our family. You think about the eternal impact on them, mm -hmm. understanding the gospel in a different way and, or in a, a more full way and understanding what it means to care for others. Anything about the eternal yeah. impact on the life of the church, even those who haven't adopted or been involved in mission trips, or just the what they're seeing, their commitment to other people. I, I just think the, the eternal impact of that ministry in our lives is very profound. And, and maybe for me personally, and again, maybe, maybe I'm wording this the wrong way still, but there's probably no greater ministry that I think is gonna, at, at the end of my life, that, that is gonna have a, a greater legacy uh, in the lives of others. Mm, yeah, and it does come down just even to just the time spent. You know, my family could share Christ with a child that lives somewhere else and try to disciple that child and yeah. care for that child. Maybe they come to our church or maybe they don't. Um, but bringing uh, a child into our home, it, yeah. you know, just the ability to impact that child's life for eternity is, is greater. Just simple it's, math, just yeah. time spent there. That's right. So it's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thanks, Daniel. Yeah. Looking forward to the end of 1 John 5 yeah. this We're Sunday. Yeah, big, big finish. Big, so. uh, the um, fireworks, did you have those? The pyrotechnics are lined up. Okay. We still need to work a couple things out with five points, but... Uh, It'll be great. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Daniel. Thanks for joining us on the Post Sunday app.